What's up guys and welcome to One Take. I'm Gil and today we're breaking down the trailer for The Mandalorian Season 2. They just released the trailer this morning. I'll start by going through it, highlighting some details, and then afterwards I'll give my thoughts on the trailer overall and just generally how I'm feeling about The Mandalorian Season 2. Before that, just a quick reminder, if you like The Mandalorian and you want to hear me talk about it, remember to hit that like button, hit the subscribe button, and hit the bell icon so you get notified the next time we do a video. The trailer starts with the camera panning over a couple of planets, then the Razor Crest, the Mandalorian's ship, comes into view. It clearly looks damaged, like it's limping along, and it's just barely going to make it wherever they're going. Over that, we hear the Armorer's speech to the Mandalorian back in Season 1, where she essentially told him that his mission is to transport Baby Yoda, or the child, to his family back to the Jedi. We see the Mandalorian fly over a Tusken Raider riding on a Bantha, so that tells us this is probably Tatooine. And by the way, somebody in the comments on the official trailer pointed out that if you replay this scene where you see the Bantha, when the Mandalorian says, where? You see the Bantha's mouth open at the same time, and it kind of looks like the Bantha is the one saying where. Once you see it, you can't unsee it, and it's hilarious. Where? 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 Then the Mandalorian flies onto a snow planet, so of course the first thing we think is that this could be Hoth, as featured in Empire Strikes Back, or it could be another planet with snow on it, or it doesn't necessarily have to be one of those planets with only a single climate. It is funny how in Star Wars we tend to get wrapped up in this idea of there's a desert planet, a snow planet, but this could be a planet like Earth where some parts are snowy, some parts aren't, and here he's landing in the snowy part. Or it could be Hoth. Then we get to the part of the trailer that everyone's talking about. When the armorer mentions the Jedi, we get a quick glimpse at a mysterious robed hooded figure. Now, zooming in, to me, this looks like Sasha Banks. We know that she was cast for season two, but they haven't revealed what role she was cast for. Now, there are rumors swirling that she could be playing Sabine Wren. For a few months now, people have been speculating that Sabine Wren would play a role in season two. If you're unfamiliar with this character, she was introduced in Star Wars Rebels as a Mandalorian who was also a leader in the Rebellion. She's sort of indirectly tied into the show because at one point she did wield the Darksaber, which we know from season one is currently in possession of Moff Gideon. By the way, if you're a casual Star Wars fan and you hear Sabine Wren, you might think Kylo Ren, hey, is there some relation there? But no, Sabine Wren is W-R-E-N Wren and Kylo Ren is R-E-N. So no relation. Now, like I said, Sabine Wren's appearance in season two is just a rumor, it's just speculation right now. So until there's some actual evidence in the promotional material, right now I'm taking it at face value. The trailer implies this is a mysterious Jedi character, probably somebody we haven't seen before, and that's what I think it is. I think it's a brand new character. Now as more material gets released, it could turn out that the trailer was misdirecting us. It implies that we're looking at a Jedi, but really it's Sabine Wren, Mandalorian rebellion leader, and that would be pretty cool. We see the Mandalorian on a boat. So I don't know if we've ever seen a boat like this in Star Wars before, where it looks like something out of Pirates of the Caribbean. Don't have a lot to say on that, except one of the things I love about Star Wars is just the exploration of the world, seeing new environments, and this is at least a hint that we'll get to see something a little bit different in Season 2. We see some X-Wings on either side of the Razor Crest, and it's unclear if they're following the Mandalorian like they're working together, or if they're chasing him. Now, I don't see them firing any lasers or anything like that, so my guess is that it's the former, they're working together. We get a glimpse at Cara Dune and Grief Karga. Grief Karga, by the way, sporting a new Grang goatee, which I thought looked great. We see some TIE fighters. Then we see some stormtroopers running through a hallway, which looks a lot like the inside of a Star Destroyer. We see some speeder bikes and just a lot of classic Star Wars imagery. Whatever nostalgia the new trilogy didn't give us, The Mandalorian is making up for. It just looks exactly like what you'd picture a Star Wars TV series looking like. We get a few quick action shots. We see something falling from the sky. Then we see the Mandalorian and the child on a snowy planet, perhaps the same one we saw before. And finally, we get to what looks like a UFC fight between a couple of Gamorreans. We hear an alien say, you know this is no place to bring a child. By the way, this one-eyed alien is someone named Gore Koresh. And just searching online, I couldn't find any information about him, so it looks like this is a new character. And if you're wondering how people know this is Gore Koresh, if you turn on the closed caption for the trailer, 
it tells you that's the character's name. And that's a good pro tip. If you're ever trying to do a trailer breakdown, the closed caption can often be a good source of clues. And we end on a fun moment where everyone pulls their guns out, then Baby Yoda closes himself in that little vessel he floats around in before all hell breaks loose. And that's pretty much the trailer. I thought it was a solid trailer. I like when trailers don't give away too much of the plot. Basically, this just sets up that the overarching plot for this season will be, just like we thought at the end of season one, the Mandalorian's attempt to find the Jedi and bring Baby Yoda, or the child, back to them. Besides that, it really doesn't tell us anything else besides setting some of the tone for the series and just showing us some cool stuff. So how am I feeling about season two? Am I excited for it? For me, season one was a little bit of a mixed bag. I thought it started out pretty solid with the first couple of episodes. I thought it was just classic, fun, action adventure. It was pretty heavy on the nostalgia, but I don't think that's inherently a bad thing. I don't think there's anything wrong with taking a 30-minute nostalgia trip once a week and just getting some fun escapist action. Also, one of the things I love about sci-fi and love about classic Star Wars is just the sense of discovery you get seeing new worlds and just going to new places. The Mandalorian, more often than not, gave me that feeling. Now, for me, the middle of the season, as the story started to get more standalone and more episodic, those were episodes I didn't quite enjoy as much. Especially the prison escape episode, I just really didn't care for that story at all. To me, it felt very cliche and just not interesting. Then I thought season one picked back up towards the end of the season. So my takeaway overall is that when The Mandalorian is serialized, when it's continuing a story from one episode to the next, I think it's solid. When it airs more towards the episodic standalone adventures, at least for me personally, it doesn't work that well. The good news is that John Favreau has implied season two will be a little bit more serialized, so personally, that gets me more excited. Also, like I said earlier, I enjoy the nostalgic aspect of it, and there are rumors of Boba Fett returning, so that gets me excited. Plus, I'm a big Timothy Oliphant fan. I love Justified, and we know he's showing up next season, so that's great news. Also, Rosario Dawson. I didn't watch much of the Star Wars animated series, but I love that actress, so the fact that she's appearing as Ashoka is also great news to me. Anyway, so overall, I enjoyed this trailer. I like that it didn't give too much away. I'm looking forward to season two. This got me ever so slightly more excited. And by the way, when season two starts, I have a couple of friends who are very into Star Wars. They'll be joining me on the channel to help review and break down every episode. You won't want to miss that. So if you enjoyed this video, please go ahead and hit the like button, hit the subscribe button, and hit the bell icon so you get notified the next time we do a video. And by the way, every time the subscriber count goes up, even by one, it does a lot to help this channel and just personally I find it extremely motivating and it gets me that much more excited to do the next video. So if you subscribe it means you're an amazing human being. So with that thanks for watching and see you on the next one take.